Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the year 2012, Rafale was declared as a winner for Indian Air Force ambitious program MMRCA to procure 126 fighter jets from foreign OEMs. However, an agreement could not be inked due to the serious problems with price negotiation. During the PM Narendra Modi's visit of France in the year 2015, the discussion for the procurement of Rafale was again picked up and agreement was made to procure Rafale in flyaway condition. On 23rd September 2016, India and France had inked historic deal for procuring Rafale for Indian Air Force under government to government deal worth Rs 59,000 crore. Rupees. On 29th July 2020, almost four years after the deal was inked between both the countries, the first five Rafale landed in Ambala Air Base. The last of 36 Indian Air Force Rafale fighter jets from France landed in India on 15th December 2022. It took six years to deliver 36 Rafales by France. Indian Navy also needs new fighter jets for operating them from the deck of INS Vikrant. Navy wants to procure 26 fighter jets under MRCBF program for which Rafale M and F-18 Super Hornet are competing. The recent media reports have indicated that Rafale M is a choice of Indian Navy and the deal could be inked during the French President Emmanuel Macron's visit to India during March 2023. Now let us consider an optimistic scenario where the deal for Rafale M is inked between the two countries during March 2023. Considering the previous rate of delivery which is 36 Rafales in 6 years, that is 6 Rafales per year, the Salt Aviation would be able to complete the order in 5 years that is by 2028. However, when India has inked the deal for 36 Rafale for Air Force, the Salt Aviation did not have many orders to execute. In the last couple of years, the Salt Aviation has received a lot of orders from many countries. In January 2021, agreement between Greece and the Salt Aviation was signed for the purchase of 6 newly built and 12 used F3R Rafale. On 24th March 2022, Greece signed another contract to buy 6 additional Rafales to be delivered from mid-2024, increasing the total order to 24. In May 2021, Egypt has ordered 30 Rafales in a contract worth $4.5 billion. On 3rd December 2021, the SALT announced that UAE had signed an order for 80 Rafale F4 in a government-to-government deal. On 10th February 2022, the SALT announced that Indonesia had officially signed an order for 42 Rafale F4. So at present, the SALT Aviation has huge order of Rafale fighter jets to be delivered in coming years. So the question arises whether the Salt Aviation will be able to deliver Rafale at a rate of 6 fighter jets every year to Indian Navy if the deal is inked. The possibility for the same is highly unlikely. It might push the delivery timelines of Rafale to Indian Navy between 2030 to 2032. Now we have recently reported that Ministry of Defense is likely to clear the budget for Rs 14,000 crore for the development of four prototypes for TEDBF fighter jets. The design for fighter jet is completed by EDA and once the budget for development of prototype is cleared, an order will be given to HL for the development of prototypes. During Defense Expo, ADA has reported that TEDBF program can be executed in eight years after getting the funding approval from Cabinet Committee on Security. This means that TDBF can enter into production by the year 2032, by which Rafale M delivery could be expected to be complete for Indian Navy. So the question is, after receiving 26 new Rafale M, will Indian Navy place order for TDBF, which will be ready for production? To answer this question, let's try to understand the Indian Navy's requirement for deck-based fighter jet. The Indian Navy operates a fleet of around 40 MiG-29Ks procured from Russia over a decade back at a cost of around 2 billion US dollars to operate from INS Vikramaditya. The Rafale M to be procured will be operating 
from the deck of INS Vikrant. Indian Navy is also planning to build third aircraft carrier, which will again need deck-based fighter jets. In future, when MiG-29K is scheduled for retiring, it can also be replaced with TED-BF. Indian Navy has projected a total requirement of 60 fighter jets for the TED-BF program. Navy has also stated that MRCBF is a stopgap measure till TED-BF enters into production. The Rafal M to be procured as a part of MRCBF program is to fulfill the present operational requirement of Indian Navy. However, Indian Navy and Ministry of Defense has to ensure that this should be the last order from foreign OEM because India cannot afford to burn billions for importing the fighter jets. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.